cockroaches. For many, this name sparks a feeling of disgust or even fear, with many encounters you might have had with cockroaches being with house pests. Cockroaches are often unwanted encounters associated with disease and even killed on sight. But are all cockroaches this way? Or has our perception of yet another creepy creature been blurred by misunderstanding? I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us every day. Today, we are exploring a palmetto scrub environment in South Florida in search of a creature that, from the outside, might look intimidating because it's, you know, a cockroach, and really, really big. But I promise you that getting up close to this creature might just change your perception of these amazing and misunderstood animals. The best way to find one of these is by searching underneath dark and moist cover like logs and palm fronds. And sure enough, I spotted something underneath one Ooh, of these whoa, logs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check this out. This right here is one of the most unique and interesting species of cockroach that you could find here in Florida. This is the Florida woods cockroach an absolutely massive species of cockroach, as you can see, sitting on my hand. Now, while these might be large and intimidating looking, this species is actually flightless and is pretty much completely subterranean, which means that they spend almost their entire lives underground. As you can see, they don't even have wings. As you can see by the way that it's behaving right now, it is definitely fleeting the light. These things really like dark and moist habitats, which really explains why we are able to find this one underneath a log. Another name for this species is the palmetto bug, and that is because they are oftentimes associated with short palmettos, like the saw palmetto behind us right here. Oftentimes, these will take refuge underneath dead palm fronds, which just like pine logs, retain a lot of darkness and moisture underneath them, which is the perfect habitat for these Florida wood cockroaches to hide. The Florida woods cockroach is a very common species out here in these sand hill and scrub habitats, as well as pine flatwoods and other sandy wooded habitats, where like I said, you'll most likely find them underneath dark and moist cover on the ground. Because of that, these might make their way into your house, but there is no worry. This is not a pest species to worry about, like the American cockroach or the German cockroach. This is a completely native species and any sightings inside your house are completely by accident. As you can see, now that I have it in a pretty shaded spot on my hand, it is nice and calm. Anyways, let's talk about this species' diet. These are pretty much completely scavengers. They eat dead and decaying plant matter on and underneath the ground. Though like pretty much all cockroaches, they are quite generalist. I have seen some get a little bit larger size than this, but this is still quite the impressively sized cockroach. Something very interesting that these do is they actually have a very unique defense mechanism for cockroaches. And it's why I'm being very gentle handling this one. They can release and actually spray pretty relatively accurately a very bad smelling and tasting liquid that makes these Florida woods cockroaches very unfavorable prey for potential predators that would otherwise be eating other cockroaches like birds, lizards, smaller insect eating snakes. But because of just this massive size and that very unique defense mechanism, not much out here is going to be going after these Florida woods cockroaches. And it's how they've managed to become such a common species underneath cover in these kinds of habitats. Besides that bad smelling and tasting secretion, there is literally nothing else that these Florida woods cockroaches can do to you. They are completely harmless animals and honestly, really good starting handling insects. They're big, they can't fly, they're easy to keep track of, and they are completely harmless to people. I know many people might be scared or disgusted by these beautiful creatures. My goal is to show that not all the stereotypes we form about wildlife are true, and that many of the creatures that are heavily disliked by many people are often those that are some of the most beneficial to our ecosystems and some of the actually honestly most harmless of all the creatures to be worrying about. It is genuinely sad to me to see just how demonized cockroaches are, just based on the pest-like behavior of only a few species. While there are indeed a handful of species around the world that can transmit diseases and can cause destruction inside houses, I can probably only count them on my fingers. And the vast majority of the thousands of known cockroach species, just like this little guy right here, are fulfilling important ecological niches in their ecosystem and doing so without harming us humans in any way. In fact, habitat-specific native species like this Florida woods cockroach right here are under threat of habitat loss 
due to pine flatwoods and similar habitats being favorable building areas. I hope, if anything, that seeing this beautiful creature up close has changed your perception of cockroaches for the better, even if it's just by a little bit. If you would like to see more commonly misunderstood animals that you might see in your own backyard, get the respect they deserve and their names cleared, make sure to check out this video right here where we get up close to a creature that many people might not deem welcome in their backyards despite them being common and beneficial, the Black Racer. See you there!